All right, what's up guys? Anthony here, Special Analysis. Welcome to the video. I want to take a look here at the US dollar futures, um, also known as the Dixie. Going to just take kind of a peek here at uh, what is transpiring. Um, so, got this, you know, pretty firm top pattern up here. You can see we took a, a strong impulse correction, placed that lower high. Continue to series that until we reach this level right here. Um, you know, without getting into too much intricate longer term detail, just taking a kind of a closer look here at what we're doing right now. Um, probably at a pretty pinnacle state. Notice this prior high right here, um, how we kind of came into that area and have not successfully overtaken it. A couple scenarios here uh, of what will likely happen next, right? So, you can see we were plotting these kind of, you know, we, we dropped this low, we dropped the higher low, dropped another higher low, another one, and then we finally made that push coming in, placing ultimately here a lower high, and then we made this drop here, but placing a bigger picture higher low. So, came in, retested it, well, basically took a gap down, open, gap back up, placed a sequentially higher low here, a higher low here, uh, basically a level low here. So one of two things transpires at this point. If we're going to hold this, we and we hold this channel line specifically, which basically contain price back here, that's why it's so significant, um, and we can pile drive off of this retest. I'll zoom in here so you can kind of see this. This will expand in just a second. So you can see we came back in, basically just tested these wicks, penetrated that wick ever so slightly, probably grabbed whatever liquidity was sitting there. So there was probably, I would imagine, standing stop orders, limits sitting there. You can see they got hit and we've pushed back up. We do have rising volume. We are still slightly coming off of this area. So if we hold this trend line or channel structure, um, we do have a chance here of placing a newly appointed higher high up into this area. Now, where am I looking specifically for that higher high? Uh, I'm going to be looking right here. Okay. So, you know, and this may take some time. We could impulse and correct, ultimately placing another higher low somewhere in this vicinity. But I'm looking to push through 105 if we hold that channel structure, 105.30 roughly, something like that. Um, but if we fail to, we could come back in to retest this and ultimately drop down here into 103.11. So, you know, what most people are always looking for is, uh, you know, they want the, the, the crystal ball. Like, they want to know what the market's going to do. And the reality is, nobody knows what the market's going to do. All I can tell you from my experience, what I'm seeing here currently this was a really nice hold, okay? And we're basically dancing this trend line. So we have a larger picture downtrend here based from this high to this high, right? That's where this channel structure is formed off of. Notice we've broken that. So when I normally trade a channel structure, I'm looking for a break followed by a correction and that channel structure proving itself to now be newly appointed support. Sometimes the channel structure breaks and the market just keeps going. But more often than not, it does in fact come back to retest it. Now, it doesn't mean that it can't fail the retest, but if we do place a higher high here, right? there's a pretty good chance, and more importantly, we place a higher low, that we do push up into this level. Um, and you can see as we kind of approach this channel structure here, we are testing the base of this topping pattern. You can see we, we placed a high and we made a, basically a double top. You know, I would look very closely at this double top here and say, okay, we placed these two very specific candles on higher than prior day volume and did not make any advancements. That to me, based on the volume itself, there's three candles here. One, two, and three, just based on looking at the volume bars below, 
tell me that this is areas running into a problem where there's either no more interested buyers or no sellers to take the other side. There's absorption transpiring here on a big picture and the market's going to sell off. If you understand volume and price action, I can assure you that's all you need to understand, right? You don't need a crystal ball. You need volume and price action. With those two components and a great understanding of them, you can navigate the market. Whether it's a daily chart, a five minute chart, a one minute chart, a weekly chart, it doesn't matter, guys, okay? The principles of the way the market move are, are essentially all the same. Um, Obviously, the higher the time frame, the more reliable the analysis, so on and so forth. But taking a look here, and this is kind of really all I was trying to do, keep this kind of short and sweet, um, is the dollar index here is playing with, a, with an area that I believe plays probably a fairly significant role in what transpires next, right? Like, even if I just came in here and I drew a line, you know, that really made me feel confident you know regaining this line here this level you can see we, we the bodies of these candles basically struggled to push through them we finally closed above it notice we retested it and then we made this final push higher so i'm seeing rising selling volume but i'm also seeing the price at the same time continue to inch its way higher so i'm not totally convinced that we're done here okay I'm, I'm not scenario a we hold this trend line we hold this most recently placed low we get above this level and we place you know either a, a newly appointed low over here or a higher high over here ultimately seeking this next channel structure as the near-term objective to the upside. Scenario B is that we fail and we pull through these lows here that I have marked off with this little box and we fall back into this channel structure down here where we then decide if we will find support or not. So just again, want to kind of keep this short and sweet, give you some insight to what I'm personally looking at at the dollar. I am a futures trader however the analysis i use on futures can be used on stocks and um, bitcoin and cryptocurrencies and all that same stuff i'm a very traditional person you can see on my screen there is volume and price action everything else is hand drawn and interpreted uh because i just believe that that does layer in uh, a more intimate connection with what's happening with the market when where and why um, and it gives you an opportunity to really seize what is actually transpiring right I use this in my traditional day trading um, I use this in swing trading I use this in position trading um, I basically went back to study the things that market technicians employed a hundred years ago because if it worked for them, then I believe that it can work now. And I simply just wanted to know what they knew. And every time I test or, you know, people approach me with software all the time. Uh, and every time I test software, I look at it and go, it's accurate sometimes, but if you follow it blindly, you are going to lose money, right? And I can assure you whatever software you may or may not be using, um, or whatever traditional lagging indicators you're losing, you will find that if you use that independently over and over and over again, that it's going to lack long-term integrity, right? Because market conditions change. And when you are trading, you need to understand what scenario A is with the risk and potential reward. And then what is scenario B with whatever risk is associated and potential reward. You must look at every trade you take two-sided, okay? And by looking at two-sided, you may realize that there isn't a trade to take. So my goal with these videos, guys, is to educate you through my own personal experiences. I hope that you take something away from each and every one of these videos. If you enjoy them, I ask you to simply like the video, subscribe to the channel, Send me an email, leave me a comment. God bless, guys, and I will see you in the next one.